question about some of the technology that you're developing to fight the war on terror, specifically directed energy and high-powered microwave technology. Do you, uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? Mm. Goodness. Um, it, is, it is in, for the most part, the kinds of things you're talking about are in varying early stages. Do you want to give anything you'd add? I don't think I would add much. I, mm. I, it's, I think they are in early stages and, and, and probably not ready uh, for employment at this point. But you sound like you're willing to experiment. With it. I, I think that's the point. And I think and it's, we, we have, I think, from the beginning of this conflict, I think General Franks has been very open to looking at uh, new things if there are new things available and has been, been willing to, to put them into the fight even before they've been fully wrung out. And I think that's uh, not referring to these two particular cases of directed energy or, or high-powered microwave. Uh, but. Just the head uh, was burned, and uh, uh, other, the other parts of the, the bodies wasn't anything that happened on, on it. Al Ghazali reported that he had seen three passengers in a car, all dead, with their faces and teeth burnt, the body intact, and no sign of projectiles. Uh, there wasn't any, any bullet. I saw they, they teeth, just their teeth, and um, no eyes. Uh, all of them, with the body, nothing for the bodies, just the teeth and, and uh, all the, uh, I mean, uh, the heads uh, were uh, burned. There were other inexplicable aspects. The terrain where the battle took place was dug up by the American military and replaced with other fresh earth. The bodies that were not hit by projectiles had shrunk to just slightly more than one meter in height. Uh, except that uh, the bodies is uh, scaled by the bu bullets. Most of them that uh, become very small. Uh, I mean, uh, it's like, like that, something like that. Talk with the colleague, Dr. Saad El Faluji, which is the chief surgeon in that hospital. Dr. El Faluji said to me that from the survivors that he operated, that they said they did not hear any noise. So there was no explosion to hear, no metal fragments or shrapnels or bullets in the bodies. So they themselves were thinking of some strange kinds of weapon which they did not know. No gunshot wounds. No, no. I think I don't know what it was. Really, we couldn't. We are here ten uh, surgeons. We couldn't decide what was the weapon which been uh, hit this car. But inside the bodies, you did not discover ordinary bullets. All of them being. All, we didn't find bullets. Yeah. We didn't find bullets. But most of the uh, passenger people been dead. So they took them immediately to the uh, refrigerator. We couldn't decide that to see. But those, those who are alive, we couldn't find any kind of uh, shells. We didn't find shells inside their body. It seems to be a new, a new opinion. It seems, it seems a new opinion. Right? Right? So, so, new experiments on our, on our civilian. We don't know what was. Uh, we don't really can identify many what the type of this was. 26 in the past. About 20 of them. Some of them have no head. The head being cut. Some of them, the arms, the legs. The only one who didn't injure was the driver. And really, I don't know how he reached our hospital. Because one hand, one arm was in his lap. One head beside him. It was a very, very strange, horrible, horrible, horrible thing. In the roof of the car, there was part brain, of the body, quantum intestine, brains. Yes, so all parts of the body. It was a miserable, it was very, 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 very miserable. And do you have idea with what kind of weapons they attacked that bus? This the bus, we didn't know what kind of uh, weapon will be uh, hit. Really, what we saw, 
cut arms, cut legs, cut head, abdomen, open abdomen.